Welcome to the first day of nature school. Today we are going to go over conifer trees, pine cones, and how to make an awesome bird feeder with things that you have at your own house. Let's go! Have you ever heard of a pine tree? Better yet, how about a conifer tree? Conifer trees are evergreen softwood trees. Evergreen just means that these trees stay green all year long. When other trees, which are labeled deciduous, lose all their leaves and go into like a sleep mode in winter time. Softwood trees are mainly used as building material. Have you ever gone to a hardware store and read the labels on the wood? Much of that wood comes from softwood trees like pine and cedar. Conifers trees like pine trees are very simple to grow. Their seeds are located on the very inside of a closed pine cone. Most of the time we aren't able to get a good look at them due to us finding the pine cones usually already open when they've sat on the ground for a while. Did you know that coniferous trees can live in a lower quality soil? Mostly because they don't produce flowers or fruit. Only their pine needles and their seed pod pine cones. Today you are going to see how our family chooses to use pine cones for something more than just another pine tree or holiday table decor. In a moment, you're going to get a peek at different ways we make bird feeders. So get ready, let's go. As you can see, the first thing we're going to need is some quality bird seed. You can get bird seed at almost stores. You'll find all different kinds for all the kind of birds in your area. We ended up choosing just a wild bird mix full of different kinds of seeds and nuts. So right now I'm just cutting the string and I'm gonna tie it on. Just tying it on, putting the knot on, yeah. Well, I don't know how to make a knot, so my mom's helping me. Now I'm just applying the peanut butter on the toilet paper roll, and then we'll go on to the next step. The funny part about this is I get it on my finger and I just lick it off and then continue. <laughs> so. So now I'm just adding the seeds on it because the peanut butter helps it stick. And then I'll hang it up. Well, I was using my fingers and then I had a better idea to start rolling it around. And that worked way easier and it was much more faster. Well, I'm finished, but the reason why I chose to do the toilet paper roll, it's easy, it's fast, and I get to use peanut butter. So, I'm, it's my turn. Now I'm just taking an egg carton. I don't know why I chose this ginormous one. I'm cutting it. I'm using a force. 
I'm using four spaces. Then once I'm done cutting, I'll show you the rest. So I'm doing a hole punch. I'm doing hearts because that's what they gave me. You can use circles, you can use whatever you have. So I'm just hole punching it. And after this, I'm gonna add some peanut butter to the bottom, so yeah. So I hole punched on four corners. Now I'm gonna add the string. As you can see, I showed the bottom. And now I'm adding the peanut butter into the inside so that way if like some of it falls, there's some stick still sticking to the bottom. And as you can see, I'm getting it on the sides. So I'm just gonna do that to every one and then you'll see when I add the seats. So I'm adding the seeds. The reason why I chose this is because we have like a thousand egg, car egg cartons. I don't know where we got all these. And because I like the fact that it's just so fun to make. And I love doing outdoor crafts. So yeah, that's why I chose it. All right guys, here we are to the pine cone. Initially, we were all going to do the pine cone or the toilet paper roll, but we ended up finding out so many different ways on how to make bird feeders. So I'm going to be the one that sticks to the pine cone. What I'm doing is I'm putting the Crisco lard all over the pine cone. You can tie the string to the pine cone first, but I ended up just choosing to do that afterwards. Don't forget to put that Crisco in every little nook and cranny all under and over the pine cone. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and get my string, cut it to the length that I would like. Consider the place that you're gonna hang this. That will be the, determine the length of the string. I just put it around. Sometimes it's hard to get it in there, but it's okay, it worked out. I put it in the middle and I'm gonna tie it right at the end so I can hang it. Now for the fun part. Now it's time to stick all of those seeds and nuts all over the pine cone. Um, I was gonna do the whole rolling method that um, my other daughter did, but I decided to just go ahead and pat it into every little crease in the pine cone. It became way easier to just use my hands with this, unlike using the 
butter knife for the Crisco actually spreading. It's so much easier to just use your hands when you put the seeds. All right, here you have it. Our pinecone bird feeder, all done and ready to be hung. I am cutting, trying to cut holes into the water bottle so that way I can fit my two sticks inside. And now I, once I put my stick in, I am going to make a hole so that way they can eat out of the water bottle. In case you were wondering, the stick is there so that way the birds can stand while they eat and they don't have to fly as they eat. Now I am putting seeds into the water bottle so that way they can feed on the seeds. Now I am cutting holes so that way I can put string through it and tie it and hang it up. Make sure an adult helps you with this part because it, it's kind of hard. Well, I'm just about done. But I'm here to tell you why I chose the water bottle. I had a perfect plan on how I wanted to do it, so I decided to use the water bottle. All right, well, this is the last one that we did and leave it to our son to choose the largest of the bird feeders to create. This one's a lot like the water bottle that our daughter did, but just on a larger scale. Here I am just trying to help him cut the holes in the bottom to put his little bamboo stick through. He struggled a little bit with it just because I made the holes a little small so the stick was nice and tight, but he was definitely determined to get it through. And here we are making the holes for where the bird can eat the seed out of. As you can tell on this one, I kind of made it too small at first, but I began to make them larger as we go through. Here you can see that the hole made larger. You want that so their beaks can get in there and get to the seeds without having to fight it too much. And here we are beginning to pour the seeds into it and beginning to fill it up. This was, like I said, quite a large bird feeder, so it took a lot more seeds than the other one. But like our little son loves to go big or go home.
And here's the hardest part. We're just trying to get the string that you cut through the holes in the top of the bottle. We struggled a little bit with it, um, but you can use a stick or maybe even uh, the pocket knife you're using to help thread it through. Thankfully, our son had some tiny little fingers and he was able to really work it in there and get it through for us. Well, here it is guys, all done and complete. As our son puts the lid on the top of it, we are able then to go and, and hang it somewhere where the birds are able to enjoy all those delicious seeds. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We were so excited making our bird feeders with the different things we can find around the house. I can't wait to see in the comments below what you guys use to make your bird feeder. Make sure mom and dad comment below, hit subscribe, and like our channel so we can do more in nature school. Have a great day.